Hey everyone, I know you've all been wondering how my bench projects are coming on. I mean, who isn't? So uh, I thought I'd give you a little update. As you might remember, I am using old reclaimed uh, outdoor deck stairs as part of the wood, most of the wood actually, for the bench, except, well, not most by mass or volume, but a fair amount of it. This this substructure, the uh, the support, the legs, the cross, the, the stretchers, and so on. And uh, so the first task was to unscrew the hardware from all these things and uh, cut the boards uh, to make to make them into usable lumber like like this and that took longer than I would have thought and there's uh, eight bolts on the end of, uh, for each of these to just uh, sorry four on each end so that's eight prepare uh, a lot of these are uh, the ends are so damaged that there's not a tall piece of use a long piece of usable lumber left or there's rot various places so it took a while just to um, to unscrew the number that I needed that I thought I needed it turns out I'll need more because I've destroyed a few uh, and uh, and then to, to cut the edges and so on I don't have a, a machine called a jointer so I did all this with my table saw just planing carefully off the ends and squaring everything up and that took a long time and then it was finally time to get started uh, with the um, with the legs, what will be the legs and, uh, and substructure of the bench. And that's super simple. Um, here, this, uh, these are going to be the, um, the legs and stretchers of the bench. And this <laughs> took me an incredibly long time considering how simple it is. This uh, is called a half lap, lap joint. It's about the simplest joint in woodworking. And um, it turns out there's many ways you can screw up a half lap joint. And I, I could now enumerate, I know every way you can, you can get that wrong. Uh, so uh, anyway, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on these. And uh, so I screwed up enough ways, but I did eventually get these together. And the next step is to cut these. Each leg is gonna be uh, it's going to have one of these sistered onto it. So uh, what you what you see, what I've shown already, plus another piece going down the side, and this will be the support for uh, what's called an apron, I'm making a sort of a modified English joiner's workbench. And so this will actually get cut down, and a big piece of wood will go in here uh, that connects the two ends. Uh, side to side, and then there'll be a top on top, of course. And uh, so there's still quite a bit of work to do before I have before I have my bench. And uh, I am running out of time. I have a bunch of projects I want to get done in April. Uh, so um, finishing this workbench is project one, because I don't even have room in the workshop with all this lumber in here that's going into the workbench. And, uh, uh, and then I don't even have a place to put my tools yet. Uh, so I've just got like my outfeed table is serving as a tool storage area. It's pretty bad. Uh, so I've got to finish this bench. I need to uh, finish, do some drawers uh, to put stuff in or a cabinet or maybe just buy one. Um, I was hoping to use this as a learning experience, build my own, um, just, you know, plywood cabinet with some drawers, but uh, the pace things are going. Uh, if I want to actually get to my projects that are the reason to do all this in the first place, I'm, uh, I'm not going to have time if I want to do these projects in May. The most important one, I mean by May, the most important one being a cat tree, couple cat features uh, for our cat Naya. Uh, long story, but she's not getting to going to be spending every day uh, with our other cats and she'll be separated from them. And so I want to make sure she has some nice places to play and scratch and stuff. So. Um, of course I could buy a cat tree, but I want to make a cat tree. And uh, that's that's like project one, once I have a work, once I'm done with the workbench. So um, anyway, that's where I stand. Uh, this is all I have to show for, I don't know, 10 hours of work or something so far is these two, these two pieces, plus some, some lumber to use and some, some that I've planed and so on. But uh, yeah, it's going real slow. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm hopefully, I will not make any mistake that I've already made at least twice again on this project. So 
I've made a bunch of mistakes twice, and if I'm all done with all of that, then things should go faster. They're not going to go any slower. I mean, I'm only I'm only learning. I'm not forgetting. So, uh, uh, anyway, ways to go, uh, but getting there.